There's not so many open HIV positive people in Norway. There's never been, as to my knowledge, anyone that has been reported to the police and investigated that been open about it. Never. He had what what you call it a bracelet? A braces. Braces, braces yeah. Okay. Braces. He gave me a blowjob. Uh, he cut me on my penis. It was an accident, actually. He got some blood in his mouth. And, uh, and then I had to disclose to him that I am actually HIV positive. He went to test himself. It was still negative. He still wanted to have contact with me. Late October, beginning of November, he went back to test himself again. And uh, this time he tested positive. I thought back then that it had to be me that was responsible. One night he, it turns out that he wanted to go back in bed with me. Uh, I said no. I already felt a lot of shame, I guess, because I believe that I had in fact infected him. And just a few days later on, he started to make the first threats that if I didn't give us a second chance, like second chance as boyfriends, uh, he would report me to the police. Uh, I was not aware of that, that I could actually go to jail for this. And suddenly I was a criminal. And I started to think that this is so fucking unfair. Maybe I should do something about this. And I started to talk to some of my friends, which is uh, which are journalists, about this, and they went, "Don't do it, Lee. Don't do it. You don't know the media. We do. They're gonna fuck you over big time with this." But to me, it was eventually becoming more and more important to actually go public with it because it's a lot of good therapy in fighting back. And I did so the first time uh, on the, the World's AIDS Day. I went on stage for the first time and I told my story openly. I was scared shitless, I remember. But it was done, it was out there. It was extremely positive. Some of these, you know, young politicians came over to me and they said, wow. My lawyer got news from the police attorney that the investigation was finally closed and that they found out that I didn't have the same virus as the complainant, so I did not infect the complainant in this case. So is that what you think? Do you want me to be like a Jew back in 1940? With a yellow little star here on my chest? But of course they can't really answer that question, can they?